okay this is the part that you can't get lazy on this is how to prepare your idea so you can pitch it now a lot of people skip this part and they don't do this right and you have to take the time to make sure that your idea is prepared and what I mean by that is that you have to maximize every possible angle of your idea you have to become an expert in the idea that you're pitching because that will come across in the meeting first you can't think that your idea is the best idea in the world. It might be, but you can't think that way. Why? Because there are many ideas in the world. Everyone has an idea. Everyone has a million ideas. So what makes your idea so much better than the next idea? Well, this is the part where preparation will make your idea the best idea. But just the idea by itself, it just won't fly. You need to have it prepared. So how do you prepare the idea? Number one, write it down. You have to write down your concept. You can't just think it's a good idea and want to go to the network and tell them about it. No, you have to write it down. Even if it's on a napkin, you need to put your thoughts into a piece of written paper. Because this, this will allow you to think about the idea further. And as you're writing it down, you'll notice how more ideas will pop into your head to make that idea even better. So writing it down is crucial. It's a key element in making your idea better. Second, rewrite it. So you wrote it down. That wasn't hard. Now rewriting is the most difficult part of making your idea a, a sellable idea. Why? Because this is where your research will come into play. You need to become an expert on that idea. You need to know everything you can about the subject that you are pitching. You need concrete relevant information that will make your idea a sellable idea. What I mean by a sellable idea, it means an idea that the networks can look at and say, wow, we can sell this. You know why? Because after you're done with your idea and you sell it to the networks, they need to turn around and sell it to other people within the network and they need to sell that to advertisers. So if you do all the groundwork and you do all the research and you make your idea a very sellable idea, trust me, the networks will be a lot more interested than if you just have a random idea or a random thought that they will have to put work into. One thing to keep in mind about rewriting is that less is more. So you need to make your idea and your concept concise, yet you need to make it informative. So you need to find a balance between what's too much and what's not enough. So that balance means that you're given enough information for them to be able to get the idea, but not too much information uh, that could lead you into confusing them or maybe making your idea a little too complicated. Basically, you need to make it simple, still giving enough information for your idea to be concrete. The last part that you need to do when preparing your idea is you need to show your idea. You're selling a TV show. This means that you need to have something that people can see, something that they can actually wrap their, their heads around. So in preparing your idea, you need to make sure you have some sort of presentation. It could be as simple as a PowerPoint presentation, but what really works, and nowadays with the technology that everyone has at hand, you probably should do a, a short sample of what the TV show will feel like, what it will look like, what are the elements that go into the show. And I know you're probably thinking, well, I just take that idea and then they'll give me the money so that I can show them. That used to be back then. Nowadays, networks are really reluctant to uh, put out money into something that's not proven. So if you don't have 12 million views on YouTube and you're like a, a internet sensation, then most likely you're going to have to show them something, some kind of range of what the idea is about. So if you're thinking, well, I don't have enough money to put together this production, then you need to figure it out. You need to find a way to get the money your credit cards, mortgage your house, you need to borrow money. And what I mean by that, if you really believe in your idea, then you will invest in your idea. If you if you don't want to put money into your own idea, then what makes you think that the network's going to want to put money into your own idea? You need to really figure out if this is something that you believe in. And if it's something you believe in, then you got to look for the resources to make something happen. You cannot rely on other people investing in you. You first need to invest in yourself so that other people will invest in you as well. And again, why would the network take a risk on someone that's not willing to risk on themselves? You need to show the network that you are committed, 
that you are willing to do whatever it takes to make your show successful. And you do this by showing them something, something, anything. You need to come in there with something prepared. A lot more than words in a piece of paper. You need something that represents your idea as a TV show. To wrap it up, the key points of preparing your idea, you need to write it, you need to rewrite it, and you need to show it. And you go into that meeting with all those elements together. Preparing your idea and writing down your concept and showing it will give you the confidence to go into the meeting as if you really did your homework. Because you need to come across as a professional in order for people to believe in you. So preparing your idea will give you the confidence to go anywhere and sell your idea and pitch it and not be afraid because you know it's a good idea and this will come across in your presentation. So make sure that you do not skip this step. Make sure that you prepare your idea before you do anything else.